Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is optimal partition of string. So in this question, we are given a string S and we need to partition the string into one or more substrings such that the characters in each substring are unique. It means that there should be no letter which appears more than once inside a substring. And our task is to return the minimum number of substrings in such a partition. So here in the question, it already says that there is at least one partition we can make from the string because we need to return one or more substrings. So our result will at least be one. So for example, if the output string contains only one character, that will be our answer. A single character is also a substring. Now let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved. I've taken the same example they gave us. So this is the input string as given to us which contains characters. Now we have to partition this string. So we iterate through the input string S from left to right, from start to end. So we access each character at a time. Let's start from this character. So let's form our first substring. It is going to be A. Move to the next character. It is unique, B. How are you checking if it is unique? You are comparing it with the previous element. So we can use a hash set to compare if the current character is already repeating or not. So first we add this character A. When we go to the next character, we're checking if B is present inside the asset. No, it is not present. Add it into the asset. Move on to the next character. We are at A. Check if A is present inside the asset. Yes, A is present. So this is our first substring. Now we start our second substring from this character and whenever you start a new substring, we need to clear our hash set so that we can compare for the new substring again. A is not present inside the hash set to add it inside the hash set. Move to the next character. Next character is C. C is not present inside the hash set. So add it to the substring and also add it to the hash set. Go for the next character. Next character is A. A is present inside the hash set. So this is our second substring. So before forming our next substring, clear the hash set so that we can make comparisons for the current substring. A is not present inside the hash set, so add it into the hash set and also form the substring. Move on. We are at B. Check if B is present inside the hash set. No, it's not present. So add it and also form it. Go for the next element. Next element is at A. A is present inside the hash set. We form our next substring and we clear our hash set. And when you move further, you reach the end of the substring so you can end the iteration and now we count how many number of substrings you formed so there are four substrings so this will be our output so let's take a look at the java code coming to the function they have given us this is the function name and this is the string s which we need to partition and the return type is an integer because we need to return the minimum number of substrings we need to partition the original string s now let's start off by creating our result variable result will initially be one because if the input string is not none the result will at least have one character and that character can be considered as a substring. Now let's declare the hash set which will contain characters. So the main purpose of using a hash set is to avoid duplicate values because hash set does not allow duplicate values to be stored. Now let's iterate through the input string s using a for each loop. So I'm converting the input string s into a character array and accessing each character at a time. Now we have to play with this character and check if this character is present inside the set to check for duplicacy. So as soon as you find a duplicate character, you increment the result. So it means that you formed a substring and you're going to build a new substring. So to build a new substring, you have to start off with an empty set. So inside this if statement only, let's empty the set using the clear method. So this will clear the set and give you an empty set so that you can form the next substring. And outside the for loop, it means that if set does not contain the character, you directly add that character into the set. So this for loop will iterate from the starting till the last character and you have our final answer inside result. So let's return result. Now let's run the code and then do a dry run for one of the examples. There you have it, our test cases are running. Let's submit the code. And you see that our solution has been accepted. So let's take a look at the first example. So I've declared the necessary variable. So this is the input string and this is the result variable which will be our output. And I declared a empty hash set. Now let's iterate through the input string S. So S will contain. So S has this inside that. Now we convert the input string into a character array. 
so this is the character array and we access one character at a time so ch will start from here so ch is a now so we check if a is present inside the hash set no it is not present so it won't go inside this if statement and this statement will be executed so a is added now in the next iteration ch points at b now we check if b is present inside the set no it is not present so again it will skip the if statement and b will be added into the set and in the next iteration ch is pointing at a so we check if a is present inside the set yes a is present inside the set so increment the result which means that you form the first substring so you start with result equal to 1 so it will become 2 and now we have to clear the set and now add ch into the set so ch is pointing at a so a will be added and go for the next iteration next iteration ch is pointing at c check if c is present inside the set no it is not present so add it into the set and go for the next iteration next iteration ch is pointing at a check if a is present inside the set it is present so it will enter the if statement and increment result result will become 3 and now you clear the set and then you add the current ch into the set ch is a so add a and go for the next iteration now ch is pointing at b check if b is present inside the set no b is not present so add it into the set now go for the next iteration the next iteration ch is pointing at a check if a is present inside the set yes a is present again so you increment result result will become 4 and you clear the set and then then you add the current character into the set and now go for the next iteration in the next iteration we reach the end so you come out of the for loop and return whatever is present inside result so result has 4 so 4 will be returned as the output which is the expected output here so the time complexity of this approach is o of n and the space complexity is o of 1 as the hash set does not contain duplicate values so if there is a substring starting from a b c till the end z of length 26 so in this case the maximum space a substring can take is o of 26 so which is constant o of 1 so you can say the space complexity is o of 1 that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video